coming at you with beauty and fashion as seen on TV products. I'm excited we have some really interesting products to test out here. Let's begin. This right here is a hair tool. This is by Hot Buns. Simple styling solution. Just a roll, snap, and wrap. <laughs> Retails for $8.32 on Amazon. And we got the light hair version and it has two small and a large. So let's just do it. It makes beautiful buns in less than a minute. Lightweight and comfortable, no pins needed. Instructions are very straight to the point. All you need is your own clear elastic. You create a ponytail at your desired height, and then you take one of these and you roll it. At the very end, it has little like actual snaps. And then inside, there's a clear elastic that you take around and you secure it to your ponytail with your bun. And then you just take the hair and you spread it around the little bun maker, which is nice. Let's try the small and then we'll do the, actually let's go with the large first, see how big it really is, and then we'll do the small. So, just like so. I'm gonna try to make sure all of these little layers go inside. And then it just says to snap. And then you gotta find the clear elastic right here. And now we just spread the hair. So we have quite a bit to hide. It's kind of messy, but it's all about how you roll it. As you can see all of these little hairs, I didn't roll it as tight. All you do is just kind of take it underneath or you could use some pins, but the whole purpose of this is to not use pins. They're also saying, you can do step five before step four, so spreading the hair and then going with the clear elastic or the hair elastic and securing everything, which that makes more sense to me. So let's go with the small one and see what that looks like. I'm just gonna help me because <laughs> I can't see anything. It's easier to roll down though, the opposite of what they're showing. But let's try What this. do you mean roll down? Like underneath? Yeah, because the, the hair doesn't fall out as, as much. We'll just I mean, that's that's the problem. You're, you're sure. Let's let's try it the other way. Let's see if it's better. So if we just go this way, that way, all your short hairs are on the bottom. Let's see what it's looking like. And it's tighter, right? Yeah. Yeah. This this looks so much better. Careful. Ow. It's tight, yo. Ow. Ow. Oh my goodness. Ow. Ow. Ooh, that hurt. I don't think you even need that. It was so tight. I mean, there's a few hairs that are still loose because we kind of... Spread it out too hard. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this looks better, but wow, that's a big bun. She's got big buns, y'all. Yeah, definitely, because my hair is really clean right now. It's fresh, freshly washed today. I would say, as you can see, like the layers, you would just kind of have to like pin them underneath, still use pins. And the good thing about this is it's that kind of spongy perforated material that you can stick bobby pins in here. Let me quickly show you. Honestly, even just this. See, you can go through really easily. So if you do need to use bobby pins or other hair styling accessories, you can stick it right into it and it won't hurt your head. I do enjoy the part that you have the clear elastic attached to this accessory tool and then you have these little clips or these little uh, snaps, but I don't know. I would say this is a good B plus. There's a little bit things you could change and fix, but otherwise it does exactly what it promises. Next as seen on TV product is the Studio Glow Makeup Lighting. It's super bright LED bulbs, perfect lighting for makeup application, love that. Attaches to any mirror in seconds, cordless, no messy wires. Okay, so this does retail for $12.13 currently on Amazon and let's just do this, why not? So this is what it looks like. You just get the four bulbs and in the back you have three suctions and then right here, this is where you install the batteries and you just literally have the on off option and they're very dim and they're very, very cooled. So let's go try it on right here first. We'll turn off the lights right in front of me and see how much light it really gives. So we'll do a nice before and then we'll do an after with this. As you can see, when all the lights are off and just these LED bulbs are turned on, there is definitely not enough light. But once you turn on everything or you just have a lot of light in front of you and then you turn this on, it definitely adds something. It definitely pops 
in front of your pay face and it really just lights up your face. But I would say on its own without any other lights in front of you, it's definitely not enough. I would get maybe at least three more to create a rectangle or a square depending on how big or small your mirror is in front of you or in the bathroom or in your bedroom, wherever you need the extra light. So having just the one strip is not enough in my personal opinion. And plus the other negative thing is you can't really control the warmth or the cooling of the lights. And yeah. And, and those lights already exist. Exactly. And there's so many of these light bulbs already exist, especially mirrors integrated with LED lights that you can control the cool tone, the warmth and the dim or how intense you want the light to be. All in all, I think there's better options on the market for a similar or even better price. I'm going to give it a good solid C. This next product is for those that love heavy earrings or your earlobes just need a little bit of lift assistance <laughs> in your life. This is by the brand Magic Bax and they're earring lifters, straight to the point. You get two sets, two pairs of adjustable hypo, hypoallergenic earring lifts and they're sterling silver as seen on TV and currently they're $21.91 on Amazon. So I personally, if you don't know by now, I just love my little hoops, my dainty little earrings. I don't like heavy earrings just because they're so uncomfortable, but I do have this pair right here. They have a little bit of weight to them. So we'll see one-to-one -one with just the regular back, ear, back of the earring and then with the help of the earring lifter and see if there is any difference, if there is comfortability, if they add anything else besides Besides, like lifting of the earrings. This is what they look like. One little back earring lifter. This is just the regular with the regular earring back. <laughs> that makes sense. That's what that looks like. It looks pretty good. It doesn't look too saggy. And then we take this, you take the back off and then I guess you just put it right in there. Okay, so the heart shaped end should face upward. All right, got it. Okay, then we take the heart shaped towards the top. Am I seeing a difference? I feel like there is actually a difference. This one, you can see the ball or the pearl is kind of slanting downwards versus this is nice and straight and perky. Okay, there's actually quite a bit of difference. For some reason, this definitely feels a little bit more supported versus this, I can feel it kind of hanging down a little bit. I'm gonna give this a solid B plus, maybe like an A minus, just because yes, I think they lifted, but that little backing this part, you could you could see it underneath your ear. So if you're wearing something a little more smaller, but it's still heavy, you'll be able to see the backing of the earring, which is just a personal preference, honestly. But I do think they did lift. And the one thing, it's not even about the lift, it's more of the weight distribution. It felt a little more stable and just the way it was sitting, the earring, especially right in the hole, it felt more comfortable and solid. Like when you're, it wasn't as wobbly, if that makes sense. Jackie also tried it and she said even on herself, she felt it and you could see a difference as well. So yes, if you need help in the earring lifting arena, definitely check these out. This next one is super fascinating. This is by the brand Boom Boom. This is their nasal inhaler. inhaler. <laughs> Inhalers? Naser? 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 <laughs> Nasal inhalers. So what this is, it's a rapid acting vapors and stimulating sense that provides a refreshing and cooling sensation to your nose that enhances breathing and boosts focus. I need all of that right now. I was saying I need focus because I can't speak and talk properly. And then my breathing, I just, I feel, I'm feeling a little clogged and stuffed because of the pollen outside. So what's, there's different scents. There's berry, melon, tropical, winter mint, cinnamon mint, and mint. All natural. And this six pack retails for $34.95 and it has almost a thousand reviews and it's almost five stars. It's like four and a half stars, you guys. That's pretty incredible. Twist off cap, place inhaler, inhaler, I can't say that word, inhaler slightly inside your nose and inhale gently for one to two seconds. Repeat with the other nostril. Enjoy the sensations. Oh, thank you. And then teach your friends how to boom boom. <laughs> Andre, you know you're doing this, right? Slightly in your nostril. Whew, okay. Oh, it's actually nice. <laughs> that's, whew, that's 
cooling. Ooh, that is beautiful. <laughs> you a sniffer? <laughs> you like to smell things. I do. This is right up my alley. It's right up your nostril. Right up my nostril. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. It's not lasting as long as I would want it to. It doesn't say how many hits you can take. <laughs> how many hits can I take before it's too much? It just says daily use. Ideally use within 30 days. These essential oil vaporizers will retain their intoxicating aroma for up to three months. Babe, let's, which scent do you wanna try? Berry? I mean, maybe tropical might have a better option, but I'm just gonna try berry. Here you go. In your nostril and inhale. Oh, I kinda smell berry in that other nostril. I mean... I can smell it from your nostril, the berry. Okay, yeah, the, the berry is after. Is? You can actually smell it? Yeah. It smells like I ate some gum, berry gum or something. But how does your nose feel? How is it tingling? Yeah, it's very, it's very cooling. Do you feel focused? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I am very focused, y'all. Inhalers! See, I said it! <laughs> Jackie, what flavor do you want? Probably tropical. Sure. That's a different one. I don't different know. One. Maybe I should be really brave and go winter, <gasps> winter mint. Oh. See how intense it is. I think we should try all of them. Shove it right in there. Holy cow. <laughs> this is so strong. One to two seconds. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it that long. It's like, feels like how when you chew gum yeah. in my nose. Yeah. Woo. I mean, <laughs> you gotta try this one. <laughs> That burns. That is really Hits you like right strong. here in the back of your yeah. head. <laughs> you really went for it. Okay, so this one, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it a solid A. Just because they work, they do stuff, but I feel like you'd have to use them over and over again to really see if it does boost your focus. Yeah, it definitely clears up your breathing. It feels good. It's cooling. This would work walking into a bathroom. Yes, exactly. Keep that on your bathroom. Yeah, I like it. Let's move on. All right, so this next one is called The Lash Ease. Mascara with fiber building technology. Of course, there's so many fiber technology mascaras, but this is all in one. And they're saying fibers are lightweight, gentle, and secure. And it's for volume, length, enhancing, and they do say to curl your lashes prior to get the best results and then do two to three coats to get the maximum benefits. This retails for $14.88 at Walmart and it doesn't have the best reviews. So let's put this on and see the application, messiness, what the lashes look like before and after. Lashes are curled and we're gonna try to do at least two coats. When you open up the wand or the mascara, it definitely has a little bit of weight to it. And the wand is a little bit bent. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, but it is. And it's very flimsy. And the bristles, there's a tiny, tiny little micro bristles all over. You can see a little bit of fibers, but not too much. Like you can't really see that much fibers on the mascara. And the mascara does seem quite wet. It looks kind of like a, like a tube mascara formula. Okay, first coat, let it dry, get tacky for 30 seconds. Come back for the second, then probably do a third just because of the formula and the brush, it's not really depositing that much product onto the lashes. Okay, maybe not, don't wait 30 seconds or more. Maybe we do like 15 seconds. It's still brushing through though, that's good. It's not adding volume though. Yeah, you can see right there how bad it's clumping right now. And I'm, I'm having a really hard time dispersing that. Look how bad that looks. It's so clumpy. It straight up looks like spider legs on my, on my lashes right now. Not impressed with this mascara just because it's not doing anything special that any other mascara can do. If you really want that volume, I would suggest to find a lash primer. You really get it on there get a little bit tacky and then go in with your favorite mascara to really build up that volume towards the root and throughout. But yeah, fibers, I find that they, like the fiber mascara, I find that sometimes they the fibers can go inside my eyes and they just kind of scratch my eyes the entire day and they're just really uncomfortable. But it's not even that. This mascara formula just looks so gross and it's so dry and it looks like my lashes, they're just like going all over the place and they look like they have split ends. Okay, doing the one and only update for the mascara, you can see that it's really transferring to the lower lash line and you can see how it just, it's just so super flaky. 
but who is that? <laughs> Somewhere in the background. Yeah, I'm not impressed with the mascara at all. Very disappointed. I still stand behind what I said. It's not a great mascara. I'm gonna leave it there. Last but not least, we have the Conair's their fabric defusser slash shaver. We got this in black and right now currently retails for $12.99. It has over 55,000 reviews and it's almost five stars, which is insane. So we're gonna try on one of Andre's sweaters. This one right here. We can see in the back all of those little, I call them little sweater pimples. <laughs> it's literally just straight up balls of fabric that kind of balls into each other. So we're gonna take it, I'm gonna put it on the flat surface, I'm gonna do it before, and then try this out. This right here, you can use it cordless, or you can charge it and use it while it's charging or just charge it and just use it cordless. All right, let's go on the third setting. Let's just turn it on, go for it. Very loud. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's literally shaving the sweater. Oh my gosh. Look at that difference. Let's go on the second one now. It's gonna be closer. We're gonna do it right here. That like shaving noise is so satisfying. And it's very soft, it's not tugging or pulling. Wow. Wow. It's a brand new sweater. Oh my goodness, look at that. And it didn't pull anything, it didn't tug at anything. Feels good, right? Yeah. All right, let's do the last setting. Ooh. Wow, strong little bad boy, aren't you? Wow, that's satisfying. That is legit, and like Andre said, it looks like a brand new sweater again. How cool is that? I'm gonna try and see how much fabric it really took off or shaved off. Oh, ooh. Oh, wow. Actually, quite a lot. Oh my goodness. Ooh, it's really soft and fuzzy. Look at that. That's a good amount. I think the one thing I was really nervous about was it was going to tug and pull on the sweater and I would have to kind of hold it with two hands and you don't have to. You literally just the one hand and you just barely put any pressure and just does it for you. Why didn't we not get this sooner? This is definitely a plus in our book. It works phenomenal and I love how lightweight it is. It's cordless or you can keep it charged and use it with the cord. That completes the video. That's all we have for now, folks. There's some really phenomenal As Seen on TV products and then some not so phenomenal As Seen on TV products. But for now, you guys, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and Jackie and Andre, and well, Amaral also joined for a little bit. And we'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.